What's happening, my people? So it's late night, like I usually say, because I usually do my work late night. And uh, so storm is bearing down on us and stuff. Shit, still got electricity and all that. So I'm going to make the most of it. Got this video idea I've been wanting to do for a while. But I've been procrastinating on it. But I'm finally about to get it out of the way. So this is 10 artists that need to drop a project before they get left behind. So I'ma name, I'ma name a few names, like some honorable mentions, pretty much, and then I'ma get into who needs to drop a project. Like we've been waiting for a minute. And they got some people, they better drop something to us. <laughs> people are gonna cut in front of them. They're gonna lose their spot. So I'ma start off with an honorable mention, John Mayer. I don't think he might lose his spot or anything. But like as far as like somebody that I would like to see put out an album, like I ain't gonna lie, I like John Mayer. So that, that's one of my dogs. Shit. Uh Kid Cuddy. Kid Cuddy has been a minute. Like, bro. He, he did that thing with Kanye, but man, ain't no ain't nobody listening to that shit. Uh Janelle Eco, I don't think she's in danger of losing her spot. She did uh drop that freestyle triggered and stuff like that and but it has been a minute since she dropped an album. Uh, I, I don't think she's going to lose her spot because I think her audience is uh, pretty uh, pretty inclined on supporting her. Like she, she has a, a lane that uh, like, like the lady's going to sip wine to her shit and stuff. And it's just that chill vibe. I think she's, she's, uh, she's cemented in her lane. But... I think she it would help her to drop a project, drop a good project soon. Kanye West. Like, it's time for him to I, I don't know. I, I wanna say, man, for him to drop a classic, man, and he can get back into our good graces and stuff. But to be honest, it's more than the music. It's more than the music with Kanye for him to be back as far as like in my eyes and stuff. Like if he dropped the coldest album in the world, but he talking that Trump shit, fuck him and his album. That's how I feel. Like uh, I'm so off off Kanye, man. Like I, I try to support all my brothers and shit that, that fuck with me and support me and shit. Like man, one of my, my dudes, my dudes, uh, I can't think of his name right now, man. Shit, he just dropped a video and he did uh, had some Kanye shoes and stuff, and I watch everybody reviews and shit like like people that I, I'm cool with. And I didn't watch it just because it was Kanye shoes. I'm like, I don't, I don't want to see that shit. Like I don't like Kanye, like not like that. I tried to give him a chance when I, I watched uh, his Jay Leno thing. I think it was Jay. He wasn't Jay Leno. It was David Letterman. David Letterman has a Netflix show, and he was doing good talking about the the uh the mental health shit and all that. But then he started getting into that Trump shit, man. And David Letterman had to put him in his place. And he like, oh, oh, being bullied. Being bullied by the left and shit. I was like, man, get your bitch ass nigga. Anyways, time to get into the 10. The 10. So number 10, I would say Big Sean. I don't think he's in danger of necessarily losing his spot. That's why he's way down at number 10. But man, it's, it's been a minute. It's been a good minute since he dropped the album, man. I think I think it's about that time. Like he left, everybody dropped their seven song projects. He he been on his shit with uh him and Jenny Aiko. They broke up and and all of that and stuff. Man, it is it's time for time for Big Sean to drop a project. Number nine, Wiley, Wiley man, this brother is so incredible. But like like uh J Cole said when when J Cole he made made an album. He made made the uh, that video whenever he was talking about Kanye and he was talking about uh Wiley and stuff. It was kind of, it wasn't like a diss track or something, but it sounded like like disses and stuff. And he was talking about man, like you got a fan base, you need to appreciate it and stuff like that, man. Like quit worrying about the critics and, and all that. But why but Wiley just gets in his own way so much. He's so worried about what everybody else thinks in his spot. And I have that same thing as well. That's why I haven't been putting out any music because I worry about. I'm not where I need to be. Like, if I put this out, it's not going to get as many views as I want. So I feel like people don't want to hear it or don't care. Even though people would message me a lot and be like, when you going to drop something? Or like, 
I have that Wiley syndrome. Uh, number ten, nine, eight. Number eight, Rick Ross. We've been looking forward to Ross. Ross, dog, it's time. It is time. We've been waiting on it. He got a title for it. Port of Miami, too. But the thing about it, he keeps dropping songs. He keeps dropping stuff here and there. And it's not hitting. Like, I think he, he was on a label. He, he got moved over to another label. And so the other label, they're like, nah, that's not the one, Rick. And Rick, he's far from a, a single artist right now. He's an album artist. Like, we're going to check his shit out regardless. He doesn't need a smash single. And then he's like in his 40s, man. Like, he's not going to have the number one single with a big, with Lil Pump and them and shit. Like, the Lil Kids, the ones that are moving the needle as far as shit. And they're going to just listen and stream whatever the young shit is. Like, uh, but the day ones and shit, we're going to support Rick Ross whenever he drops his album, man. Like, quit, quit holding the back, man. Let the dude drop his album. Number seven. Jeezy. Jeezy has been away for a minute. Like, Jeezy has been forgotten. Like, he's not on, in danger of being forgotten. I think he has been forgotten. Like, it's time. But it's not time just to drop something. It's time. Like, he has to... It is a necessity as far as, far as his place in music. Like, he might have business stuff going on or whatever, and he, he might be straight. He might not need music anymore. But as far as his spot in music... It is, it is a uh, key. It is paramount that he drops something that would be dope. Uh, number six. I don't know why I wrote her down. I I don't know why I have her so high on here. If I would, but I've already written it down. I'm not going backwards. I wrote Rihanna. Like she does need to drop some, like just as far as the music, but. As, as far as people forgetting about her, as far as needing her spot, like, she's making so much money. She, she making hand over fist money. So if I could do this over, I wouldn't put Rihanna on here, but I already have her. I already wrote it. So Rihanna, like, she does need to drop some music. Load. Like, don't, don't need to, but for her fans and stuff, and, like, she, we want a Rihanna album. Number five. He's not in danger. He's not. He's not being. For, he's. He's. He's kind of losing his spot as the number one MC in the game. But as far as like people forgetting about him, period. Nah. Kendra Lamar. Kendra Lamar. It's time. Because shit, J Cole keep putting that shit. J Cole is. is and you know Drake. It's, it's been a little minute since Drake. But he's still consistent. And whenever he does, he does drop something. I'm pretty sure he's going to drop something this year. And you know he's going to be up there. Kendrick, like TDE has been like a uh, schoolboy Q dropped something. But it was something people didn't necessarily care for. Like Absol ain't dropping shit. Isaiah Rashad ain't dropping nothing. Like nobody from TDE is really dropping something, man. Kendrick is paramount for you to drop something and get the, the label back popping and shit and just you getting your number one spot in the game if you want to be the number one MC. Like, J. Cole is putting forth that effort. He's getting on everything and killing it. Where you at, Kendrick? Where you at? Uh, Number four, another one from TDE. SZA. SZA. Now, as far as Janae Aiko, I think she has her uh, laying down. For as SZA, like, Summer Walker has came. Her has came. Hey, they have a lot of talented uh shit. Ella May and them. They have a lot of talented females in that lane that she had. She's in, and whenever she broke through, it was like, it was like she came out of nowhere. Even though if you've been a fan, she's been doing a mixtape shit. She's been waiting for a while to come out, but she came out like a phoenix. She rose and it was quick, and then she. She kind of like disappeared and stuff, man. And like people are coming. Like her has passed her up. Like SZA, she on she on the gram all the time. Like SZA is, she is dropped in gorgeous now. Like she always been beautiful. But she was like that down to earth Afrocentric type type chick. 
Now they got like Ari Lennox and all them. And like if music wise, they are coming. Like be beautiful. Like like Scissor is just she is gorgeous now. Like she always been beautiful, but she is gorgeous. Like I can, I have a crush on her. I love Scissor, but music wise, like. Even me going back listening to the album is not, not hitting like it was. Like, I be trying to listen to Control and I be like, I'm going to put on her. I'm going to put on Summer Walker. I'm going to listen to this Ari Lennox. Scissor. It's time. It's time, baby. Uh, Number three. Party Next Door. This is a brother. This brother is so talented. And this, this brother is incredible. Dog. People have forgot about you. It is time for you to for you to come through and put it down. Pause. But it's time for you to you to claim your spot, man. Party next door is so dope. He might be in the studio writing Rihanna shit right now, or whatever. He probably writing Drake shit right now or something. Like his pen is immaculate. But man, his projects are so dope, except for his last one. His last one wasn't his best work. But man. His last album, album. Like, I think he dropped maybe an EP after that or something. But we need a Party Next Door album. We need that Party 4 or whatever you want to call it. Party. Party. Party Next Door. Party. <laughs> Number two. My nigga. My nigga. Bryson Tiller. Bryson Tiller. Man, Bryson, my Dog, man, I love Bryson Tiller music. And I was I was like, man, Bryson, Bryson, that's my dog. Uh, man, now he's starting to get forgotten. And they have a lot of people that starting to take his spot. Like, as far as like RB, man, the, the ladies have taken over the RB spot. Like as far as like 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 uh Bryson, like she Tory Lanez is coming for his spot, even though he needs to drop something as well. But Tory, he always dropping something. But like album wise, it's time for him to drop. But Tory's been coming for that spot. Like who? Who else? Uh, L.A. L.A. Uh, man, they had a lot of a lot of R&B people have dropped like on the underground level. Like Bryson is missing that opportunity. You can you can be cementing your spot right now, right now, my brother. Shit, and number one. This was one of my favorite artists at the time. He was my favorite artist whenever he dropped Channel Orange. Whenever he dropped Channel Orange, I was like, oh my fucking God. Even though the brother came out the closet, I was like, man, fuck it. This album is so good. I don't care. Channel Orange is so good. I'm just going to pass. I'm just going to skip Forrest Gump. But, man, he, he was so dope. And he, he dropped Blind. I jammed the hell out of Blind just because I like I like Frank so much. But it wasn't it wasn't all that that it was cracked out to be. But man, Frank Ocean is forgotten. Like people don't mention Frank anymore. Like it's he drops shit randomly on the underground level, but it's not like it's like just like some throwaway shit or something. Frank. Dog, when you gonna drop something? And so that has been my top 10 list thumbnail. So that's been my 10 list of people. That might be the thumbnail. My 10 list of people that need to drop an album in 2019 or be forgotten. It's time, fellas. It's time. And at my number one B spot, Chance Jollivet. Nigga, it's time for you to drop something as well. Like, comment, subscribe, and be great as the most hated. Holla at your boy. Peace out.